Shalom, Shmuel here. Today I want to talk about a specific project. We usually don't do that, but we understood that sometimes we need to uh, push and explain the importance of a certain project uh, among many of our work. Today I want to talk about the community of Tkoa in the southern part of Jerusalem, the southern part of uh, Gush Etzion, in the mountains of Judea. And the community of Tkoa um, is a very widespread community. It's a big hill that's called Tkoa A, and then there's Tkoa B and C and D, of course, in the Hebrew letters. And I want to start by saying and quoting um, our Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, that says and said something interesting in 2015. He talked about, and people complain about how much things cost, in Hebrew, call it Yoker Amichia, the cost of living. And he was interviewed, and there was this uh, press conference. So he said, Yeah, I know people are talking about how much the cost of living is, but I want to say today that I don't forget life itself. Or in Hebrew, life itself. And he, of course, one, he wanted to ditch the question. And in his way, and second, he said something that is really true. Um, there is an importance in many levels of life. Um, our leisure life, our family life, our, the way uh, we conduct ourselves, and how we're going to, uh, you know, um, entertaining ourselves in our free time, but there's something very important in life itself. And today the topic is life itself, because I'm talking about the security of the community of Tkoa. And this community has suffered in the past um, from casualties because the way the community is built in the different hills, it really cannot fence itself. It cannot really, um, is not a really able to captivate the living around it. And when you're talking about big size like those mountains, we're talking about many different places where an attacker, ca attacker can come. And of course, uh, when you hear the community of Tkoa, you remember that in the cave nearby, the cave of Haritun, uh, there was a very uh, sad story. Many years ago it was when two kids uh, went on a hike out of the community and they went to one of the caves. A shepherd probably saw them and uh, came and basically stoned them to death. Those... Uh, the two kids that were innocently, honestly just wanted to walk around and hike and have fun, found themselves um, trapped and stoned to death. The community of Tkoa is um, very unique in a sense that really I can say the diversity of the people. It brings together people from all different backgrounds, more religious, less religious, more spiritual, a lot of artists, a lot of rabbis. There's, a, there's, there's many different people living there, but I, I would, you know, and on a personal note, I would just share this. And on, I was a part um, 15 years ago, I mean, a bit more, in the fourth hill, in Tkoa uh, Dalet. I had a friend um, who built his house there, and he really built it from the stones of the hill. They came to this deserted hill, and with big blocks, he just, you know, planted... Uh, is the roots of his home and I was helping them there and unfortunately um, five years ago and um, my friend uh, was a school teacher and he went on a school hike uh, and on the way there when he left the car uh, entering school um, a car ran over him and killed him he left four uh, young children and a wife who still live there in the community of Tkoa. And every time we talk, I ask her, how do you feel? You're on a hill by yourself. Everything is open. There's nothing around you that protects you. There's no gates. There's no fences. And people who live there really have one trust. They trust God. They trust Hashem to help them and to support them. And it worked well, very well. And really, it's a secured place but we need to help them. And we need at least to show our appreciation of the fact that they are soldiers and they are people and they are the first response team that is there to help in any case and in any need. Only a year ago, 
There was an attacker that went into the community and was stopped by one of the civilians who lived there. We need to help them get more cameras. We need to help them um, have this system that at least is going to prevent people from entering and attacking and attempting to attack. We believe in God. We believe in His guidance. But we need to try to do our best to help the people, the heroes of Tkoa, to protect themselves. In an element of cameras, only that. And we leave the other work to God himself. I hope you enjoyed that film. And we have lots more film content and emails and articles that I'm sure you will enjoy as well. Check out our website at cfoic.com and subscribe to our newsletter. You can do that right from the homepage. I know you will really enjoy the content that will land in your inbox on a regular basis. Hope to see you soon.